Every day around the world, more than 50,000 commercial aircraft take to the skies carrying over a million passengers. At airports that experience sub-freezing temperatures in winter, aircraft must be sprayed with aircraft de-icing fluid, or ADF, to remove ice from the wings during frost, sleet, and snow conditions. During the process, much of the ADF falls to the tarmac, where it mixes with stormwater and can eventually find its way into lakes, rivers, and bays. The essential component of aircraft de-icing fluid is the antifreeze chemical called propylene glycol. Propylene glycol is a chemical oxygen demand agent that acts as a nutrient for a variety of microorganisms and aquatic plants. Too much of this nutrient can result in blooms that rob the surrounding water of oxygen. The effect can be devastating on aquatic life and create dead zones in recreational and commercial waterways. In recent years, environmental agencies around the world have been imposing stricter standards on the discharges of aircraft de-icing fluid into airport stormwater drainage systems. But enforcement has been slow in many areas of the U.S. and the world, and ADF cleanup and recovery is not without costs. So many airports have been reluctant in taking the necessary environmental initiatives. One airport that has taken the initiative is Cleveland Hopkins International Airport in Cleveland, Ohio. With the help of Inland Waters of Ohio and an ADF recovery system from Thermo Energy Corporation, the airport is not only significantly decreasing the amount of ADF discharged into the airport's storm water system, it has found a way to make the process more environmentally sustainable and cost effective. Inland Waters of Ohio, IWO, is responsible for the collection and disposal of spent ADF that falls to the ground following aircraft de-icing procedures. One of IWO's primary areas of expertise is in providing spent aircraft de-icing fluid collection, management, and recycling services to airports. Once the contaminated stormwater is collected, it is stored in tanks at various sites around the airport and is eventually pumped to Inland's processing facility, also on the airport's premises. At this point, most service companies would simply haul it away in tank trucks for disposal. Instead, Inland has found a more cost-effective and sustainable way to deal with the problem. Using a glycol recovery system developed by Thermo Energy Corporation of Worcester, Massachusetts, Inland recovers the propylene glycol from the fluid, dewaters and concentrates it to near 100%, and sells the propylene glycol to companies that recycle it into antifreeze formulations for a number of transportation and industrial applications. My name is Claude Kubrak. I'm the Vice President and General Manager of Inland Waters of Ohio. We're part of the Inland Industrial Services group of companies. One of the things that we do here is the recycling of propylene glycol from spent aircraft de-icing fluid. We chose to use the Thermo Energy spent aircraft de-icing fluid recycling system. We use the system here at Cleveland to concentrate propylene glycol from the spent ADF. Hi, my name is Kurt. I'm the Airport Services Manager for Inland Waters of Ohio here at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. What we have behind me is a thermal energy glycol recovery system. What this does is recover glycol from spent aircraft de-icing fluid. Once we start processing, over here we have pipes that feed the tank with vacuum. It goes into the heat exchanger. From the heat exchanger, it goes into the vessel. When it goes into the vessel, there's a flat, there's a flat uh, pan in there where the water goes on and the processed water falls out, the glycol falls out, and the water goes over into the condenser. From the condenser, it flows out and goes over into our clean water tank. We meter everything so we know how many gallons is going where. There's your meter right there to meter all of fluids that's coming through either or. And we also got numbers to, for the tanks to tell you how many gallons you actually have. Once you turn the system on and it's, and it's working, the fluid comes in and gets heated up at the heat exchanger. From the heat exchanger, it goes into the process vessel with hitch plates, the clean, the water, the processed water that is gonna come back out and run through the system. The water that evaporates falls comes out and goes over into the condenser. The condenser will take this water, this clean water that we call, and run back over to the clean water tank that we call. 
Our final product is near 100% propylene glycol.